In this video, we will solve an equation that contains fractions. The goal of the game is once again to isolate the variable. The rules are still the same. However, this time we'll have to use different strategies to solve equations with fractions. If there is just one fraction on either side of the equal sign, we can use a cross multiplication strategy. If there are multiple fractions that need to be added or subtracted, a common denominator for them must be found first. Finally, with some manipulation, the denominators can be eliminated. Let's try a first example. h over 2 plus 3 over 5 equals 3h over 8. If we decide to use the cross multiplication strategy, we first need to add the fractions h over 2 and 3 over 5. So we need to put them over the same denominator. A quick way to find a common denominator of two fractions is to multiply the two denominators together. In this case, 10 is the common denominator. To put the first fraction over 10, we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5 which gives us 5h over 10. For the second fraction, we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2, which gives us 6 tenths. When we add two fractions, we add only the numerators. So 5h over 10 plus 6 over 10 becomes 5h plus 6 over 10. Now, there is only one fraction on each side. So we can cross multiply leaving us with 8 times 5h plus 6 equals 10 times 3h. On the left side, we need to distribute the 8 to the two terms in the brackets. 8 times 5h gives 40h, and 8 times 6 gives 48. On the right side, 10 times 3h gives 30h. From there, all the fractions have been removed. We can therefore apply the same rules as before. We subtract 40h from both sides of the equation. On the left, the 40h cancels itself out. 48 is remaining. On the right, 30h minus 40h gives negative 10h. Be careful! It's important to do the correct inverse operation to isolate the variable. When we see a minus sign, we have the tendency to add it to cancel it out. However, if we observe the situation carefully, the operation is not h minus 10, but rather negative 10h. There is a multiplication between the negative 10 and the h. What is the inverse operation of a multiplication? That would be a division. So we divide by negative 10 on both sides of the equal sign. On the left side, when dividing a positive number by a negative number, the result will be negative 4.8. On the right side, negative 10 divided by negative 10 gives 1. So negative 4.8 is the value of the variable h. Let's go back to the same equation, but this time we're going to try a different strategy. Afterwards, it is up to you to choose your favorite strategy. We can immediately remove the h over 2 on the left side. Remember, we also have to subtract h over 2 from the right side as well. On the left side, the h's over 2 cancel each other out. There are 3 fifths left. On the right side, to subtract 3h over 8 by h over 2, we first have to write these fractions over the same denominator. The fraction h over 2 can be written in 8s, by multiplying its numerator and its denominator by 4. The fraction becomes 4h over 8. We can now perform the subtraction. 3h minus 4h gives negative 1h. We can remove the coefficient 1, but we must keep the minus sign. The result is negative h over 8. The fraction negative h over 8 is really a division by 8. The inverse operation of a division is a multiplication. So, we multiply by 8 on both sides of the equation. On the left side, we have 8 times 3 fifths, which gives 24 fifths. 
it can also be written as 4.8. On the right side, the 8 cancel each other out. Only negative h remains. We are very close to the finish line. However, we don't want the value of negative h. We want the value of h. If we want to go from negative h to h, we need to reverse the sign on either side of the equal sign. The solution is negative 4.8 equals h. There is also a third method, which is generally very popular, that consists of removing all the denominators. First, we have to find the common denominator of all the fractions. The lowest common multiple of 2, 5, and 8 is 40. So, we write all the fractions over 40. h over 2 becomes 20h over 40, 3 over 5 becomes 24 over 40, and 3h over 8 becomes 15h over 40. Then, we can remove the denominators. Why? By multiplying the two sides of the equal sign by 40, the denominators cancel each other out and only 20h plus 24 equals 15h remains. Next, we solve the equation by first subtracting 20h, and then dividing by negative 5 on each side. The solution is still negative 4.8. All that's left is to verify the answer. Time for you to try it out!